Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This yarn is called Angora by Plymouth Yarns. This 100% Angora yarn from Italy features seven colors. The colorway that we chose is 709, a bright white. This 10 gram skein with 49 yards works up as a worsted weight yarn. In today's video, we're going to review and score Plymouth Yarns Angora using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Plymouth Yarns Angora a score of 3.2 out of 5. This yarn is available at mostly smaller craft shops in store and online. I'm honestly a little surprised that since Plymouth Yarns are based in the United States, that this yarn isn't more readily available, but it may be due to Angora being such a specialty fiber. For softness, we give it a score of 5 out of 5. I was blown away with the softness of this Angora. I know so many designers use and recommend mohair to add softness to garments, but this yarn feels like a luxury to me, and if you've watched our Natural Animal Fibers video, you may know why. The micron count or softness scale rating of Angora is between 12 and 14, making it softer than merino and cashmere if you can believe it. If you're familiar with cashmere, that yarn creates more of a dense and elastic fiber, while Angora is lighter and much fluffier. For traction, we give it a score of 3.3 out of 5. After getting used to all of its extra long fibers, this Angora yarn slid on my needles pretty well. It reminded me of working with alpaca yarn, and it was easier to work with than mohair because of its overall thicker strand quality. Because of its super long halo of fibers, I recommend using a metal or nickel plated needle rather than wood as you may experience too much traction or grip. Also, if you plan on crocheting with this yarn, it may be more tedious to work with just because of how loosely spun the fibers are of this yarn. For durability, we give it a score of 3 out of 5. If you're not super familiar with Angora, it originates from Angora Rabbits and as you can see is very fluffy. Angora Rabbits provide a fine wool that is especially known for its softness and warmth but also some strength. However, this yarn is spun as a loose two-ply. Typically, the more strands of fibers that are spun together, the more strength the yarn has. Simply put, this means that this yarn is not as strong as wool, for example, and I recommend pairing it with a wool for more durability. Angora also doesn't have elastic properties, and combining it with wool would offer some better memory as well. Something to note, as with mohair, you may experience quite a bit of shedding of fibers when working with this yarn. For cost, we give it a score of 1.3 out of 5. For being a 10 gram skein, you can expect to pay $8 US per skein, meaning if you used only one strand of Angora held double with another yarn for a size medium sweater, that would cost approximately $180 US plus the cost of the wool. Upon hearing that price, this yarn may be more suitable to add a little bit of luxury to some smaller projects such as mittens or hats. Overall, we give Plymouth Yarns Angora a score of 3.15 out of 5. If you're looking for a yarn to add an incredible halo and luxury quality to your project, Angora Yarn is one that I recommend you trying out. I was very happy with my experience knitting with this yarn, and I would love to try holding it double with another yarn. Have you used Plymouth Yarns Angora yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed our review, please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.